Bill Clinton, a lot of people complain about Bill Clinton and his sexual escapades as our president, but I just learned about FDR and I have to tell you, Bill Clinton has nothing on FDR. Wow, that guy got around, especially for a guy that was stuck in a chair. Hyde Park on the Hudson is directed by Roger Mitchell, who is known for doing a lot of interesting films from Morning Glory, I don't know how interesting that film was, but uh, he's done some really good films, some really great films like Notting Hill and Changing Lanes. Uh, the guy's just got a great list of films that he's worked on, and this is his brand new film. And it stars Bill Murray as FDR, and we're learning about the story through his distant, distant cousin, played by Laura Linney, a great actress. I've known and, and enjoyed her work since You Can Count On Me. When she, I think she was nominated for an Oscar in that movie. What really piqued my interest about seeing this film was the fact that Bill Murray, who was a great actor and has showed his, that he can do drama and that he can do comedy, he has just shown that he's one of the greatest actors working today. And he's not just some fluke, not some guy that was on SNL years ago and was funny once. Now the guy's around and I was so excited to see this movie just because of his performance. Now, the Oscar nominations are tomorrow morning, and I'm very excited about them. And I was just wanted to see it just in case he gets nominated and see, does it really live up to all the buzz that it's been created? And uh, for the most part, this is a very, very good performance. If he does get nominated tomorrow, he definitely does deserve it. But he's up against a lot of interesting people. Now, this movie definitely opened my eyes about our former president, FDR. He does a lot of his dealings on Hyde Park on Hudson. And this movie takes place over a short period of time where we get to meet the Queen and King of England. Now we learn some of those people in a really great film, The King's Speech. So I like that these characters were introduced and then I was like, oh, I remember when Colin Firth played the King and he did such a good job. And the guy who plays the King in this movie does a really good job too. And I really like their relationship. They're trying to build this relationship and the war hasn't happened yet. But, uh, you know, it's coming. It's definitely coming. The way they build their special relationship is really, really interesting. But what surprised me most about this movie, and I'm not, I'm not a big history buff, so I don't know a lot about the presidency. It's just amazing how FDR really got around because he does establish a relationship with his, uh, well, he's married to one of his cousins, distant cousins or whatever, but he's also forming another relationship with one of his other cousins, played by Lauren Linney. Now, this film is rated R, and I have to comment on that. One thing I do want to comment on this film is rated R. I just want to say right now, I have seen PG-13 movies and PG movies that have more content that, that, than this film does. Yes, there is a very brief sexuality scene, like it says, but it's so fast, it's so over, it's so done. There's no nudity, there's just a lot of suggestiveness, emotionness that, okay, yes, so he gets some pleasure from a hand. Not his own hand, but her hand, his cousin's hand. Shocking, oh my gosh, R-rated, I don't understand that. When I, especially when I've seen nudity, women nudity in PG movies, especially from the 70s, Kramer versus Kramer comes to mind. There's actually, you know, you see a topless woman in that film. I've seen really crude things in a PG-13 movie than this film. Once that scene happens, that, ha that scene happens in, within the first five minutes of the film, and then we move on, and the rest of the movie is PG. This movie, clearly, with that scene in it, could have got a PG-13. I don't understand it. I don't get it. The rating system, that's what I really want to comment about this video. The rating system that we follow today is a complete joke. That's why I've never followed a rating system. I'm more interested in a story, into characters, into believable situations, not just a stupid rating system. Now, I feel like this movie should have got a PG-13 and not an a R rating. I think the R rating for this film is ridiculous because there's no foul language. There's, I don't know, that scene just didn't bother me. It didn't really shock me like I've been shocked in some other PG-13 movies. So, having said all that, is the movie any good? I really like the movie. I think the movie is good. I think the performances are really strong. I really like the relationships that happen between the people. And I love the production value. And I love the music. And I just love the setting. I think they really made it very believable. It's directed really well. Hold you into this film. It's only about 90 minutes. And I really liked the story. It went boom, 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 done. And uh, I really liked the dynamic between the English and the Americans and how different things were and how their perceptions of each other were, were, were different and how they tried to get along because the war was coming, World War II is coming and uh, they got to get along so they can fight the evil Nazis. This is a good movie. I liked it. It's not groundbreaking. It's not great. Performances are good and if Bill Murray gets nominated tomorrow, 
That'll be awesome. I'm going to give Hyde Park on Hudson three stars. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to WeLiveFilm. And also go to WhoYouTube.com.